ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. So, let's talk about Star Wars. Specifically, let's talk about Disney Star Wars. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Hercules, and we are back at it again. That is right. We are talking about Disney Star Wars and the potential rumors, if they come out to be true, that the Ray movie has been delayed to even some claiming the movie could have been canceled already. Now, before we get into the whole video and everything, we talk about my thoughts on these rumors. Let me be very honest with you. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan out there. Now, by me saying that does not discredit me at all because I've seen every single Star Wars movie but it doesn't mean that I'm 100% a Star Wars fan. But if you were to tell me which movies I enjoy more, I enjoy more the original movies, the prequels, and then the sequels are total garbage. When it comes to even the Rogue One, all these other films... They're completely trash, and it's mainly been because of the style that Disney is doing with Star Wars. Now, I don't know these characters from, uh, like, I, I know maybe a little bit stuff here, but I'm not, like, 100% a fanboy of Star Wars. There's a lot of people out there that are 100%, but... When I sit down and I would watch a Star Wars film, I'm watching it because it's always gives me those those good vibes, you know, that gives me those good feelings. And and I'll be very honest with you, I'm a fan of the dark side. I love the dark characters. And Star Wars has always had some very intriguing dark villains. One specifically, Dark Vader. Dark Vader is my favorite character of the whole uh, Star Wars, uh, I guess you could say mythology, if you want to get into specifics. But ever since I've watched every film, I've seen every TV show. I believe the only TV show I have not seen is uh, Andor. And to be very honest, I don't care. Oh, and I haven't seen Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or I believe that's Kenobi. Uh, there's just no point of me watching that stuff because at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I'm just a casual fan. I'm somebody that Disney and Lucasfilm are aiming to get. They want to get my money, and I'll be very honest with you, they've never gotten any of my money. Now, you might say, well, do you own the Star Wars films? Yes, I do. But here's the thing. They've all been uh, free movies that I've gotten from uh, relatives or stuff like that. So I've never spent a dime. The only time I did spend money on anything that was related to Star Wars was either the video game Star Wars, The Fallen Jedi. Uh, I believe that's what or The Fallen Order or whatever it's called. Uh, that one. And I spent money on Disney Plus to watch Season 1 of The Mandalorian. And I'll be very honest. I love Season 1 of The Mandalorian. Did I think they took it a little bit too far into the whole Jedi versus the dark side stuff? Yes. It was too quick the way they did it. When it came to Season 2, I stepped out. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of seeing these characters everywhere. And not just... Oh, the Mandalorian or or Grugu or Yoda, whatever you want to call him, the little baby freaking thing. But I was tired of seeing uh, Luke Skywalker. I was tired of them talking about, oh, Darth Vader, this mysterious creatures out there, these villains and these empires and stuff like that. I was tired of seeing that because I just wanted a story that was not connected, that was just 
its own thing. And I know in season one, they pretty much hinted of uh, Grugu being something that maybe the Empire was interested. But I was just tired of it. And everything else from that, season three, I didn't even watch. Season two, I was disappointed. I just wanted a good old Western style of a bounty hunter going out there. And there's plenty of movies out there that they could have copied. For, but for some reason, they were still focused on building this big universe. And let's be honest, Ray Skywalker, nobody likes. The only people that like him are casual people. And they believe they're Star Wars fans, but they're not Star Wars fans. They're just casual Star Wars fans. Now, when it comes to the Ray movie and these other movies that they announced, none of them make sense to me. None of them do I care to watch. But the only one that intrigues me, but it doesn't intrigue me because I want to go watch it. No, it intrigues me because of the uproar, uproar we're going to see. And that is the Ray Skywalker movie. Because from everything I've seen, from people that I watch on YouTube, from people that I hear on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, they're giving this bitch, this character, Ray Skywalker, everything that Luke Skywalker should have been doing. And they're giving everything to this character. They're so focus on making you the fans the actual fans love this character ray skywalker but nobody does the true fans hate that character the casual fans that are they that think they're star wars fans they want to love that character and some do some don't when it comes to actual casual fans like me who isn't the biggest Star Wars fan, but does enjoy some of the some of the movies. I sit there and I look at this character. I'm like, there's nothing I like about this character. You know what character intrigued me? Finn. And then, what does Disney do? They do some racist shit. They take this character that people thought he was gonna be something unique, and they fucking just make him a pathetic character. They bend the knee when China told them, hey, 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 make that character smaller on your posters. What does Disney do? They want to preach that they're political and everything. They bend the knee. So, I don't know. I, I, I just find it hilarious. I made a video when uh, there was a rumor going out there of uh, in this film, Ray, uh, Ray Skywalker, uh, that she could have been pregnant or she was going to be pregnant. And uh, a lot of people think those rumors are just fake. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I was just reporting it. And then hearing these rumors that either the film got delayed already, which I'm surprised it, it would have gotten delayed. Because as far as we know, they haven't even had a script. And they haven't even started uh, pre-production or, or whatever it's called. So, it makes no sense, the whole delay stuff. But then you hear that some people are reporting that the film could already be canceled. And if you don't know, Disney Lucasfilm have been out there basically saying, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. We're going to do this movie. We're going to do this movie. We're going to do this movie. We're going to do this show. We're going to do this and this and this. And guess what happens? Most of the time, nine out of ten, all those projects we never see the light. They get canceled. They get pushed away. They get hidden. They get whatever it is. They get buried alive because they just, they aren't good at what they're supposed to be doing. But at the end of the day, I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys surprised about these so-called rumors out there that Ray, the Ray Skywalker film, the new Ray Skywalker Star Wars film could already be delayed or be canceled let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe share the video and i'll catch you guys next time I just leveled up, I thank God.